was all, everybody was pretty excited when Lyle said he was coming back. As the guy who plays next to him, how geeked up were you that knowing that you were going to get a chance to play next to him again? I was excited, man. Uh, I was really, really ecstatic. Uh, I was I was in his ear the whole time telling him to come back. We need you. You can get better. We can get better. So I was really happy. At, at some point, all you guys are going to have to leave and ask each other for advice. So I'm sure that he did listen to all of you. What about playing with him was enticing to you? What did you What did you think you guys did well last year that you could do again this year? Well, we were, we played very good with each other, like double teams. We communicated well. We could pass pro good. We, we kind of knew each other, uh, how we each other played, so we could really, really help each other in uh, certain situations and uh, things like that, and it will get number better this year. You really found a home at left guard last year. Why did that suit you so well? Uh, just because, I, you know, I can I'm, I can play a lot of positions. I can play tackle and guard, but the guard guard last year was really fun because I could get hit. I could use my, my strengths, my, uh, my upper body, my arm strength. I'm really strong with my punch and things like that, so I feel like that is really essential at guard to, to use your upper body strength to, to get the D tackles moving and things like that. Elliot said earlier this week that you may have the strongest punch of anybody you know, that he's played with on an offensive line. Why is that such a, a powerful weapon for you? Uh, just because you, when you when you come off the ball, you want your first contact to be a, a, a explosive one, and you want to uh, put one of them to feel you. So I, I always use my punch as one of my strengths to get the D line and move towards uh, forwards. Sorry. There's a lot of expectations on this line. You know, a lot of young guys on offense all around, except up front. There's a lot of veterans. Do you, look, you like that role? Do you like being part of a group that kind of has to carry the water a little bit this year? Absolutely. We we're, we know we're the leader, leaders of the team, the leaders of the offense. Uh, we know we're, we're going to be leaned on and counted on to do a lot of things for the team this year, and we're expecting to do it, and we're ready to do it. It's almost not fair. You guys won't get a chance to see those running backs run at the time they're running. You have to watch them on film, but how excited are you about the this group of running backs, especially, obviously, Leonard Fournette being back there with all the hype? Absolutely. They, all three of them look great, uh, ex including Darrell Williams, Terrence McGee, Kenny Hilly, like you said, Leonard. They all look really good. Um, they're learning. Um, they, they look really explosive through the holes. They're making great cuts, and uh, we love it so far. We're, we're doing good things with the running game right now. What's it like to go from Zach being there for two years, the veteran kind of had a little bit of swagger to him, to young guys who were kind of trying to find their way and figure out what they can do at this level? It's different, but it's also exciting. You know, it's, it's new minds, it's new learning, different skill set maybe, um, but it's, it's also growth. You know, they're doing exactly that throughout camp and this whole summer they're doing number get better.